I want to ask you about what, a couple of big issues that we see in the case. And one is whether or not the Illinois State Police could or should have done more in their investigation. Do you have a position on that? Uh, well, I think the police did what they had to. Uh, they learned the facts they had to at the time. And I think they did a complete investigation. And then they did a reinvestigation. And the interesting thing is when they did the reinvestigation in 2007, 2008, they didn't turn up any evidence that was in addition or anything new than what they had in 2000. Four. Oh, see, I said I wasn't going to debate you, but that is not true, because they didn't interview Kathleen Savio's family. That was new information. It wasn't new information got. because Kathleen Savio's family testified at the coroner's inquest. Susan did. Right. But n not, not the others. It, Anna didn't okay, testify. Okay, but they, they said the same thing Susan said, and, and Anna said that Susan told me this. Who knows if Anna was actually told it on her own? But even if she was, it's the same thing, the same information. It's not new information, it's cumulative. Did they have all the domestic violence reports and everything? They, they had all of that as part of the coroner's file. And you think you mean that all that the all the reports were Kathleen attacked Drew? Well, what about the state, Kathleen's statements that are coming in and the, the jury's heard the police report? You interviewed, I mean, you cross-examined Teresa Kearns about it. I mean, they had that. They did have that, and Teresa Kearns testified that Kathleen didn't make any police report until two weeks later, until after she was served with a battery complaint for beating up Stacy. And then I think you're going to find out later on in the case that Kathleen Savio also told her best friend, Mary Pontarelli, we had a nice conversation that day and nothing happened. Well, we didn't hear about that when Mary was on the stand. But if, if Kathleen... Well, because we have, to, Beth, we have to put the evidence in and then we have to call the witness. There's rules of evidence. And we, we are trying... We couldn't ask her because the statement hadn't come, come in. in yet. Okay. Right. Fair enough. All right. So, uh, but you could have and said it'll be connected later, couldn't you have? No. Okay. <laughs> it's not one of those situations. No. no. But do you? Think We're Kathleen actually trying Savio to follow the rules. <laughs> do you think Kathleen Savio was truthful in that statement that she wrote out? Absolutely not. Oh, then do you think that her last state, her last line, "He told me he couldn't ever hurt me," was also a lie? No. Okay, so some are lies and some are truth, truthful. No, I, I, don't, I don't think that that's a lie that he had told her he could never hurt her because he never said anything where he could hurt her. He never threatened her. He never did anything. She vacillates. That was the police officer's words. She vacillated about no, no, all no, sorts of things. No, 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 that was written things. in the report. Right, and that was the officer's words. She vacillated about what happened. The, the words he the drew said he could never hurt me were Kathleen Savio's words, not Kearns' words. Right. All right, and you say those she was telling the truth at that point, but she wasn't truthful earlier in the report. That's dangerous. Why? Because you're asking, you're, you're cherry picking. Don't believe this; it doesn't help us. Believe this; it helps us. No, I'm I'm positive that Drew told Kathleen on many occasions when Kathleen would say things or act erratically. I could never hurt you. There's no evidence. That's why that he, he ever tried to hire someone for twenty-five thousand dollars to hurt her because he couldn't hurt her. He says. No, he didn't. Can I, let's talk about the jury. Let's talk about something a little more fun. I can't see all of the jurors from where I sit in the courtroom. I see some of them. So I did not notice what has been reported, which is that on Wednesday they all wore red, and yesterday they all wore blue. Right. Did you see that? I did. I didn't notice it on Wednesday, but uh, it was reported they all wore red. I did notice yesterday they were all wearing blue. If you notice, the Lopez's, or as some of the reporters refer to them now as the Lopi, because they're <laughs> plural, uh, were wearing red, and the next day the jurors wore red. Then the Lopi were wearing blue, <laughs> and the next day the jurors were wearing blue. Yeah, but they were yesterday, yellow. They were yellow the, the, earlier this well, week, they, and the jurors didn't wear yellow. Well, maybe they were the. Maybe they hadn't picked up on it yet or decided. So yesterday they had pink and black okay, let's so we'll see what the jurors wear today joe lopez had bright pink socks on with his pink tie it's great anyway uh what does that say to you uh it says that the jurors are are having a little bit of fun all right it says they're they're yeah that's right i think it, it, it looks good for a verdict whichever way it goes they're 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 together it, right it, it looks like they're getting along 